Did you hear it, guys? Did you hear pure, pure? Remain has won. The people have spoken, and boy, did they want a second referendum. I mean, it must be true. I read it in The Guardian. And just look at this map. Does this scream keep me in the EU or what? Let me tell you, chaps. Throwing milkshakes over people we dislike really made the difference, huh? Breaking news. Disgusting scenes as a female Sunderland supporter stripped off in the capital, climbed into a fountain, dropped her drawers, and took a shit. And in other and more important news, the EU election results are in, and it's looking pretty tidy for us lads. Massive victories for Le Pen, Orban, Salvini, and Farage. Brexit has won round three. We had the referendum, round one. Then we had the general election, round two, where all the major parties said they delivered the referendum results. And now this, another sweet victory. Yet all day I've been hearing about how we didn't actually win, and indeed, support for pro-Remain parties has eclipsed pro-Leave parties. You know, fucking clown world, mate. How this is argued is uh, quite absurd, so let's just go through the numbers here. Here are the results. So we've got the Brexit party coming out on top, 31.7%. Then the Lib Dems, 18.5%. Labour, 14.1%. The Greens, 11.1%. Conservatives, 8.7%. UKIP, 3.6%. Then a little bit further down, SNP with 3.3%. Change UK with 2.9%. And then the other parties with 6.1%. Now, the way I see it, the Brexit party won. End of. It'd have to be some kind of cosmopolitan Fruit Loop Guardian reader to see it any other way. Indeed, if you look at all the parties that have promised to deliver Brexit or who support the delivery of Brexit and leaving the EU, this includes the Brexit Party, UKIP, Labour and the Conservatives. Now, I get it that some people might think that the Tories and Labour aren't exactly ardent Brexiters, and that's true. But both have ruled out a second referendum. Both have promised to respect the referendum results. Corbyn is a Brexiter, and at least at the time that votes were cast in the EU elections, the party hadn't changed their stance on a second referendum. And as for the Tories, well, they just got rid of their Remainer leader, and now five of the eight candidates for the next Prime Minister support a no-deal Brexit. So combined, the Brexit party, UKIP, the Tories, and Labour amount to 50 8.1% of the vote. And if we drop Labour because we decide that they, you know, they're too ambiguous on this question of Brexit, then we get a total pro-Brexit vote of 44%. On the other side, you've got the Lib Dems, Greens, SNP, and the Cuck Party combined 35.8%. And hey, let, let's just be generous. All right, Romaniacs will be generous to you. Just have all the independents, even though half of them were for Brexit. No, we'll just give you that extra 6.1% too, all right? Well, now you're at 41.9% and you still fucking lost. And yet the Romaniacs are still trying to argue that this EU election result was a mandate for a second referendum. It's just delusional. You know, fucking clown world, mate, innit? It's fucking clown world. So look, we won we keep winning, things keep moving in our direction. Okay, it's not happening as quickly as we'd like, but it's happening. And our side still has enormous momentum and positivity and enthusiasm. And frankly, we've got love for our country, for our people, for our communities. That's what we're fighting for. So don't be blackpilled, lads. I always thought the EU was gonna collapse, but now it looks, you know, even better. It looks like it might be taken over by nationalists. If you're feeling down, just imagine Salvini riding around on top of a tank with EU army written on the side of it. Suddenly the idea of the EU superstate isn't so frightening, is it? So yeah, that really wasn't part of the plan, but I'll take it. And uh, if we get back to reality and away from my nationalist fantasies for a moment, you know, this is just, it's clear. What we've learned from these results, it's clear. The people who voted for Brexit and who won the first referendum, they haven't changed their minds. We're still here, we still want independence, and we're still winning.